Here we have our car overview. First, we will start with the key and the key functions. So we have our lock, unlock, and we have our horn. So we'll start by unlocking the vehicle and starting the vehicle. You see we have two main displays, our instrument cluster and the head unit. We will now take a closer look at our displays. We will start with the steering wheel. We have a steering wheel we can use to access the instrument cluster. We'll start with the left side where we have our driver's assistance and 8S functions. We have our volume on the lower parts of the left part of the steering wheel and media functions. Now we will move on to the right side of the steering wheel. We have the various functions where we can interact with the instrument cluster by scrolling. We also have our voice assist. We can also select as we scroll through the instrument cluster. We can see various trip information and we can access different vehicle status information. We also can access our different functions like navigation and phone and see the different options in our menus. We will now go to our head unit. We will start by checking out our upper bar where we have our connectivity settings, our time settings, and our Wi-Fi settings. In the middle portion, we have our map, where we could scroll through our navigation. We also have our contacts. and our media. In our media, we can choose our various sources. And now we can access our phone and see our contacts, our phone, and our recent calls.
Now we can have our navigation settings and we check overview of navigation. We can adjust to see and customize how we can view our traffic. We can search, see our destinations and also our history. We can also see our apps. Now we can access our Sirius XM. We also have our clock settings. We can adjust various settings parts like sound, navigation, and other. And we can also see our connected devices and adjust settings like Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Now we're going to adjust our volume with the center console knobs. You can also see our radio sets and seek settings and perform those functions from the center console. On the lower part, we have our climate settings and we can adjust things for our seats and various temperature settings. And in the center, we can adjust our fan speed.
We will now check our center console in the middle. And we see it is a scroll wheel design. We can perform actions on the head unit from the center console. As we scroll, we can cycle through the various drive modes in the vehicle. We have an array of drive modes that each bring their own view of the instrument cluster along with specific vehicle related functions. As we cycle through, we can cycle through the various drive modes by turning the knob on the center console. and we can push to turn off the vehicle and close the door.